Hey, this is David and Ark, and uh, I'm with my son. Tyler J7, hello. Hey, how's it going? And so um, we just thought it'd be kind of fun for Father's Day to sit down and just kind of shoot the breeze a little bit. So Yeah, I just had some questions that I wanted to ask, and uh, thanks for your time. Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay. Like we don't hang out every week or something. Well, you know, it's like we never see each other. We never, <laughs> every week. Not to mention every Wednesday we do Dungeons and Dragons. <sighs> I just thought, I just thought it would be fun if we talked about maybe a couple of dad things. Okay. Like, so what to you would be like the first moment that you thought, this is a person that I've created. Because I was sitting in my chair and I was watching her, my, my daughter Scarlet, for those who are listening. She was sitting in her little saucer, bouncer plaything, and she wasn't looking at me at all. So I didn't know if you had a memory that I was like, that you were like, oh, this is a person. Not just like a baby, but this is a an independent thinker. Well, I... I... I don't have anything in particular that jumps out. Like, I don't have a moment and go, oh, yeah, it was this. Now, granted, you're, you know, 24 years old. Yeah, so it's been a while. It's been a little while <laughs> since, you know, looking back. But probably when uh, we had you probably on a changing table and, like, you went to, you know, kind of roll over and fall out of the thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, we, we, we had straps, so we had you strapped, but... but you know, that didn't stop you from trying to, you know, roll around and get yeah. out. And that's probably the first time I was like, okay, we, we don't have this little thing that kind of wiggles and jiggles. It's now its <laughs> own, you know, autonomous deal. Uh, it's going to, you know, flip out of here. It's going to run away. Gonna it's going to get gonna, up and go. Know, yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, but the other one was, do you have any specific moments of us where it's just a memory that you can't get out of your head? Because I'll tell you one memory that I have <laughs> is we were playing a game on the Nintendo 64 and I can't remember if I had lost or I had, I had won and then I just shut the whole thing off and I was like, all right, we're playing a different game. And you were like, what? We're in the middle of a game. And I was like, well, we're done playing this game. And you were like, no, 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 no. It's, it's cleaning time now. We got to clean because it was a Saturday. And I... I was probably five or six. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that memory stuck with me for so long. Because <laughs> I, I was like, I, I ruined it. We could have kept playing. Now we got to clean. <laughs> clean is the worst, man. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, there's there's all kinds of different moments, I guess. They're, they're just different things um, that, you know, I, I, that I remember. Of course, a lot of, a lot of things, something has to trigger the memory. So, um, of course, you know, us, you know, now you being a gamer, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, you, you almost didn't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> um, you know, we, we played games all the time. I mean, I, I can remember, I, I can remember all kinds of things, um, you know, gaming related or not, but let's, let's say gaming related. Um, I don't, I, you may or may not remember. Um, but you had this, um, like stuffed animatronic Barney. And I mean, it was like and Barney, for those who don't know, Barney was the dinosaur Barney. <laughs> and I mean, it, and it was a pretty good size. Um, and it, and it came with this, uh, kind of a disc looking thing. Um, and I don't mean like a CD disc, although it did come with that too, but it, it was a, it was a blue plastic hub looking. It was round and it plugged into the back of the computer and the computer would send signals to that controller and it would wirelessly talk to Barney and Barney would, he would move his mouth and he would move his arms and he would interact with the game on the computer at the same time, not the same time, but it would also interact with, um, if you had, it was called interactive Barney. And if you had interactive videos that went with it, it would watch, you could sit there with the Barney next to you and at certain places, whenever in the video, the doll would react to whatever was happening on the screen. <laughs> it was, it was amazing and terrifying <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> huh? I'm, no, I, I don't remember that. At all. I cannot remember how old you were, but I, I'll be honest. I'm really, I guess I'm, well, 
part of me is really surprised you don't just because we had that for a very long time. But then by the same token, I mean, you were little, I mean, very, very little uh, when that was a thing. But that's. Yeah, but I usually had a pretty good memories for all my toys and stuff that I, I always knew where everything went just because that's yeah. how my brain was organized. <laughs> yeah, but that was, yeah, that, that's one of the, that's one of the early, you know, kind of weird gaming memories. I don't know if you remember or not. Uh, at one point, we also had the Millennium Falcon Star Wars game that came with this Millennium Falcon keyboard overlay. You would set it on top of the keyboard, and it looked like the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. I, I think I and do remember that, And you could do that, certain actually. things with it. Yeah, I, we actually, somewhere, I still have the game part of it, but we got rid of the the yeah. console part. Oh, well, yeah, because it you was know. huge. Yeah, yeah, it was big yeah. and bulky. Yeah. Um, which is kind of a bummer because that's worth probably way oh, more yeah, than, than you know, the game. Itself. You, could download, <laughs> you could download the game, the game yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> just freeware at this point. But, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Some of the very earliest memories, or, or one of the very earliest memories, is uh, and we were just talking about this the other day. Uh, but uh, you, uh, you were very um, uh, rambunctious, oh. and so. <laughs> And one of the things that you love to do was, especially on a bed, you would get at the foot of the bed, standing up on the bed, and you would jump up in the air and you would make your body as stiff as you possibly could. And then like jump up in the air and fall like you were a board. <laughs> it was it was so crazy. But one time you would push too far. And so when you came down, the back of your head smacked the headboard. And I mean, it was a crack we thought you had busted your head wide open you end up with this giant knot we rush you to the hospital and you know trying to you know get you checked out and of course it, it wasn't bleeding or anything but you had a massive knot on the back on the back of your head and so you, and like you know your sister who uh, we didn't even invite her into this show um oh i mean she gave you her, her presence <laughs> this is this is kind of our time to be together that, you know. but one of the earliest memories i have with your sister is she was tiny uh, and, and she was, she had pretty much just learned to walk. And in fact, she was kind of running through the living room and I wasn't paying attention. Obviously she wasn't paying attention, but I'm the adult. So I'm the one that should have been paying attention. And she tripped over my foot. And when she tripped over my foot, she went headlong eyeball first into this, uh, you know, little mini table that we've got, this wooden yeah. table. And she smacked her. The, her, she smacked her eye on the corner of the table, and, it, but, and hers did bust open. And uh, we had to rush her to the hospital and get stitches. So, yeah, I actually my, my earliest memories of you guys getting hurt and rushed to the hospital <laughs> is pretty much what it amounts to. I, I actually remember that very vividly mm. because I was on the other couch because you were yes. sitting. You were sitting in your spot, which uh, is kind of horizontal with the TV, yeah, or parallel with the parallel. TV. And I was sitting at the perpendicular couch. In kind of the spot that I usually sit in, <laughs> I was sitting there playing, probably a Game Boy or whatever I was playing, and you were wearing, uh, uh there was those white Adidas. Oh, or, wow! I'm I'm impressed you remember which shoes I was wearing. Well, I it was the because you because growing up you always had, you know, that pair of white sneakers. Yeah, and it was that pair of white sneakers because I because I remember looking over, and there was that pause. You were like, "Are you okay?" And then it wasn't. It yeah. wasn't okay. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Mm-hmm. But but it's not like it's not like you guys were playing. She had just kind of no stumbled she, and ran and then tripped over your foot. Yeah, yeah. She yes, yeah, no. She was just running through yeah. the living room. I mean, um, what else? Something I wanted. To, not so much talk. Well, it it doesn't have to be a lengthy conversation. But I wanted to thank you for. Uh, my love of multiplayer games. Oh, yeah. Because I'd grown up on some single players, but when I play games today, it's like, I wish I had someone to play with. And I think it goes back to all the, you know, the Midtown, mm-hmm. and Need for Speed, and Battlefield, and all the games we would jump into. And I was like, man, I think playing alone just gets a little lonely, I guess. <laughs> well, so. I, you know, it, it, it's crazy, and I'm sure some of the, whoever's listening to this, may, they're going to be like, wait, you did what? But I can remember when, especially when, um, well, when you were very young, uh, um, you spent a lot of time 
on my knee, you know, watching me play, or you know, I, I would just let you take the keyboard. And, you know, you would play <laughs> as best as, as as best you can call it. You know, oh, you're doing great there, son. That's awesome. <laughs> Are you winning, son? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but when when you're and for those who don't know, um, Tyler and his sister Emily are roughly seven years apart. Um, so when Emily got to be, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four is probably when we <laughs> when I just, her when I decided to start <laughs> to corrupt her brain as well. Um, but um, we were playing, and, and of course, obviously, a little older. I mean, and and older. Um, but. Uh, those are some of my most vivid multiplayer memories is we would be playing, um, especially uh, like Midtown Madness too, because we had downloaded, or I, I mean, I had, and then shared, um, all kinds of different car mods and map mods. Oh, and yeah. We would, we, the three of us would, would jump into a local multiplayer game and just drive around and smash into each other and do goofy stuff. Or we'd play cops and robbers, uh-huh. you know, where yep. somebody, if those of you don't know in the game, there's a thing called cops and robbers where there's a, a gold coin you have to steal <laughs> and you have to get back to the hideout. Um, and, and we would play that. And then, um, as Emily is as, as Emily got older, you were already you know old enough to to play Battlefield. But as she got older, and she was also able to play Battlefield, uh, the adventures that we had <laughs> in Battlefield. Now, when we say Battlefield, we're talking like OG. Okay, we're talking 1942. Battlefield forty two. That's right, nineteen forty two. And we would set up you know just local multiplayer in the house. You had your laptop. Yep. I don't even remember what computer Emily was using. Maybe. It was that. It was that huge white Dell. Or hmm. HP or whatever. It was that, I mean, giant tower. It was like two and a half feet tall, <laughs> bulky one that I used that I used to use in that corner over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh, that is so crazy. Well, so she had that one. Uh, and then we would and we would do multiplayer uh-huh. games, you know, just just playing with each other uh, and, and having fun. And, and it wasn't... Um, I mean, well, in, in Battlefield, yes, the ultimate goal was to take each other out, which we did often, but a lot of times we just messed around. We didn't, you know, if the <laughs> if the other, especially, you know, in, in multiplayer where um, it's just whoever's in the game. Yeah. So there's three of us on these giant maps, and we'd be so excited when we finally find each other, you know, and we're trying to pick each other off or, you know, crash each other with airplanes or, you know, one of us would be standing up on the bridge, um, what was that is that Midway? Is that the Battle of Midway? No. Uh, which which ma- uh Britain? Uh, no, okay. I can't remember now. the The Battle of Midway was boat based, and in the middle oh, right. was that big island. Yeah, no. Uh, what I'm thinking of is the one where you have one you you have a starting the w- one side starts like way off in the distance, and then the other side is on another piece of land. And you have to fly all the way across the water. That was, that was Britain. Because those are okay. the factories. Yes, 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 with the yeah, factories. I'm with you. And, and so on that, <laughs> there is, there's this road with a bridge. Like right when the enemy yes. is coming in from, yes. you know, to, to attack. And, and we would stay, we would climb all the way to the top of the bridge and try to shoot down the plane. Either, you know, with a machine gun or an RPG. You know, just trying to take it out. And of course, the airplane is, you know either shooting down with guns or yeah. just flying into the other there. person. Funk. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and for, for even more context, uh, battlefield, that game is not like the games that they play today. Yeah. Because today it's, you know, just a first person shooter, get in there and fire a gun where this was like a world war two simulator. Yeah. Like you have to go through every battle. You have to, uh, you have to move up as they moved up in the war and the game progressed as the war in real life progressed. And we would um, not care at all. Yes, no, 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 not, no, no. Not, a, not a single moment, I think. Um, and especially when, when it was me and you, it was like, what are the funniest ways we could kill each other? Yes. yes. And when Emily joined, it was, how can we take over house and play house? Yes. In this yes. World War II That's simulator. Funny. Yes. And we were, you know, we'd pretend to go gardening and, oh, oh, somebody better not come over here. And, <laughs> um, but because gaming is such a big part of, I mean, really of how close we got. Yeah. Um, I always felt behind 
because I mean, you all, you had more experience for gaming. You know how to the keyboard worked better. You know how to. Uh, I mean, you were more experienced in the game, so you could your actions per minute were higher. Your APM was better, and uh, the the first game where I felt, I think I'm outclassing you by a mile was Borderlands. I was just I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I, I knew was it was like, coming. I knew you were going to bring up Borderlands. I knew I knew it was coming. Well, because because that to me was the first game where I was like, "How old am I?" Because I feel like I'm killing it right now. Like I'm doing really well. I'm learning all the skill trees, and I'm I understand the mechanics a little better. And you were like, "How does this controller work?" Well, I, okay, that's where I was. But say. it was the controller, right? Yeah, I'm a keyboard mouse person, right? And this was in Borderlands. <laughs> really, was the first controller based game because because we were playing it on that your, either of us played right well when we were playing it on your xbox mm-hmm. if i'm mistaken so it was one of those things where you know i had no concept of how, how i was supposed to go from you know keyboard and mouse where a i knew the layout and b i generally only had to deal with you know maybe a handful of keys literally yeah. a handful of keys and now i was using you know, both hands, and they all had to... Now, granted, it was still, you know, kind of a handful of keys, but getting my brain around these two <laughs> sticks and the four buttons and the... I'm like, what the... So, yeah, I mean, you definitely, you know... And and even though I had played games um, like uh, Morrowind and Oblivion, uh, you know, at, at that time, um, and so, and of course, way before that, I had played, like, Pool of Radiance. Yeah, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get real old. Yeah, like you know, we'll just say that the classics. You know, uh, Doom and such. <laughs> well, sort of Fargo. Okay, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw some really old games. Temple of Apshai. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that. All right. Uh, I understood RPGs. I understood the concept of collecting and upgrading and all that stuff. That was not new to me. However, inside that environment, I'm trying to wrap my head around how do I function. And then what do I do with all this stuff, which, uh, you know, as you know, I, I wasn't very good at it then. And I'm frankly still not good at it now. <laughs> I, it, my, my least favorite games are the ones where I have to collect a bunch of crap in order to make stuff. <laughs> I mean, which turned out to be my favorite which, genre. Yes. Which, but by the same, which worked to our advantage for like Minecraft. Oh yeah. You know, when we did Minecraft, together and and you know your sister was in on minecraft and we were building stuff you would go and make stuff collect stuff build stuff and then give it to me and then i would (laughs) get creative and then your sister was you know she was doing all kinds of wild creative stuff but that was it worked really well and and i think even now you know if we were to play a game like um um, crud. Now I can't think what it's called. <laughs> of course I can't. Uh, but anyway, if we were to play any kind of, of game where part of it is going around and scavenging stuff, and then part of it is taking that stuff uh, once it's already in its kind of final form and, and melding things together to get creative, I think we'd do very well. You know, you go out, you mine, you collect, <laughs> you make things out of other things, and then give them to me, and then I'll build other contraptions or what have yeah. you. You know, like, I think of games like Satisfaction. Or um, Factorio, right? Where those games yeah. are, you know, go collect the resources and then you put them into a machine that makes better resources and then ultimately you take those pieces and parts, put them together and you build cool stuff. You do the first three quarters of that yeah, and I do the build cool stuff. <laughs> I'm not a big... And in fact, um, I was playing Minecraft um, early this year with a few of my friends and they would all talk about Tyler, why are you living in a shack? I'm like, oh, because I don't, I'm not a really builder kind of guy. Yeah. I'll just go get the stuff and I'll just live in someone's house. I don't care. Yeah. I like having my own house, but it doesn't look great. You yeah. know, it's, eh. Yeah. Well, it's like, that's like Ark. The, fir- the first time, oh, man. The first time we got into Ark. And of course, I had no concept. You know, here I am. I have no clothes and I'm freezing to death. Nine billion times freezing to death. <laughs> eventually you're just like, look here, get in. Where are you? Okay. Let me come find you. You throw clothes at me. <laughs> and then I would build a little shack or whatever. And then, you know, we'd kind of go off, but I, I always rely on you to provide the stuff. And then I'm just there to help fight or build stuff, you know, which I think is very telling 
of all the games that we've played. Even, even back, I guess since around the time of Borderlands, where I'm a very supporting role type of player, where I would rather, you know, let someone else go head first, and I'll make sure you're okay about it. Yeah. That's just the kind of player that I've become, I guess. Well, I, but you were like that even when we were doing Battlefield. A lot of the times, you were the medic. You yes. would, you know, I, I'd oh, be, man. I'd be going in for some kind of an attack, and you <laughs> would just basically run around behind me and try to heal me. Yeah, I, I just find it fun. I don't know what it is. I like, <laughs> and even, even when I play a game like Overwatch. Yeah. And you know, here lately, I've been taking on more of a headstrong role, as. My friends are not too keen about it because mm. I'm much better at the, the healing. But even oh, and even in the uh, more modern ma- battlefields, I'd, all, I'd always play medic. Like I could use a gun, but these defibrillators. Look at how I'm, I'm, boom, boom, <laughs> get up, let's go. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I think it's interesting that neither one of us have been real big sports multiplayer games. I, I think the only yeah. the only quote sports multiplayer game we really ever kind of got into was uh, Rocket League. Oh, no, that's true. You know, yes, you know, and and, and, we and were, even that uh, quote sport. Yeah. I mean, soc- It's kind of soccer, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's got cars with rocket packs on them. So, um, yeah, I mean, we played. What was that? MLB two thousand five. I mean that wasn't a multiplayer game, but we played it. I think it was some kind of baseball game that we had. Well, it would be. I mean, it would be. Well, it would be a MVP baseball two thousand five. I've got it on the shelf over here, as a matter of fact. But is um, it really two thousand five? Yep. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I got two copies. You want to take copy no, home? No, no, no. I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I just it's funny. I, I don't really remember that playing that, that much. I mean, together. I, mean, oh, yeah, I remember no, no. playing it, but I, just, I don't. I don't remember playing well, we, it together too we much. We paralleled a lot of single player games. No, that's true. We did Two Worlds. Yeah. Uh, that was an RPG. We did Skyrim, another RPG. Uh, we played MLB. There was a... I feel like there was another... I think we did Need for Speed 2. Hmm. It was the one where you played for pinks all the time. I don't know. That, that's, that's, that's every that's Need for Speed, I know. Need for Speed, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure which one Although, it was. Uh, let me see. There's underground. There's carbon. Ooh, there's, you know. carbon. Okay. It was carbon. That's what it was. Because I remember going side by side and you, man, racing. You, I mean, I, there was no ever beating you in racing. I, <laughs> that's, the, but I'm also not, even when we played, you know, GTA five, right. I'm not a racer, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm more sit in the back and let someone else drive. Yeah, that that is that's true. Well, you're well, you're you're more of the you know let's get in here and strategize and make a let's plan, plan and let's yeah. see what's what, what yes, we're doing. Yes, which 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 is unfortunate when we're playing yeah. with you know several of your other friends who, who are much rather you know they must just run headlong and you know open up fire and see what happens. Yeah, wait, man. <laughs> and I want to. Well, I'll, we'll talk about GTA later as a not podcast thing. But man, I want. Anyway, um, was there anything you ever wondered about me, but never like, why does he do this or why does he act like? Where did where did he get that from? I don't know. That was just a question that I that I had thought about. Honestly. Um, it would be interesting if you were to ask your mom that question, cause she would have a way different answer. <laughs> see, because you and I are very similar uh-huh. in terms of, um, the way we act slash the way I acted when I was your age. Um, the things that, that you have done and you have gone through, uh, are very, it's, it's a very similar path to what I went through. It's not the, obviously the exact same, but similar. So a lot of the things that, like your your mom would be absolutely frustrated and flustered over in my mind. I'm like, well, I, I kind of understand that. I mean, <laughs> let's just talk about, you know, let's talk about college. Okay. So, you know, um, lots of times, you know, didn't go to class. 
yeah, I didn't really go to class myself. Uh, in fact, um, when I was going to the University of Colorado at Boulder, uh, now that I look at my transcript and I'm like, huh, I didn't even know I had that class. Oh, wait, small business. I should have gone to that class. I mean, you know, it's just like, <laughs> that would have been cool. I, yeah. I had, I, I truly had one class that I, I pretty much went to all the time. The other ones I sort of kind of went to, um, but that was because sh- the, the instructor, uh, took attendance every single day and I felt like it mattered if I was there or not. Um, just as an example, I had uh, college algebra and there were like 500 people in the class and it was in this giant auditorium and you sat like, uh, they were doing like their own version of social distancing back in the day before that was even a term, (laughs) you know, you had to sit, you sat, I don't know, like two or three chairs apart and a row apart and all this weird crap. And the way they took attendance was uh, they sent a Scantron. Actually, no, you got the Scantron when you walked in the room and you had to fill out your name on the Scantron and then they would scan it. And that's how they determined whether you were there or not. So you could (laughs) a go fill out the form and leave or B get a friend to fill out the form for you. I mean, that's, you know, and then just not have to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you going? Uh, would you put my name on a form? That'd you want to take turns? We'll go yeah. No. So I, I kind of understood a little bit, you know, um, when, you know, we kind of figured out that you weren't going to class and stuff. But as far as, you know, I don't know why you do certain things or why you, I, nothing uh, nothing jumps out at me. Is there, is there something that you're wanting me to like? <laughs> oh no, I just <laughs> I was like, I'm like, why? Well, I hope he asked me about this, or you know, how can he never uh-uh, ask me no, about this? No, no, no. It was just like a, um, anything that you know you'd never really had a chance to or wanted to ask before. I just figured, I... it's just one of those. Uh, if you have an answer kind of questions yeah i i, I can't i mean I, I really can't think of anything off the top of my head but well that's what we get for being so similar i guess yeah i guess <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean you know it's... um yeah but mostly i just wanted to sit down and chat with you yeah i just kind of have our our time for father's day yeah that's pretty cool um, i appreciate that man yeah right, let's talk about this game real quick oh Battle Blocks Theater. Oh no. yes, which I still have. We we, we still have to finish that, yeah. and I still have the 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 episode five or whatever, the, or six, whichever episode it is that we've that we have done that I hadn't published yet. Yeah, I need to still edit that. But you talk about a game where neither of us are good <laughs> at all. Yes. Um, I feel you know because when you when you play arc or minecraft you're like man tyler really's got he's got the game knowledge mm-hmm. on lock or if i jump into bmg or any kind of any one of your games i'm like oh you know he he's outclassing me like crazy that's a game where <laughs> man <laughs> we, we we are definitely on an equal playing field a lot of it's just random jumping around trying to figure out what the heck it is we're doing and then ultimately still not having any idea how we beat the level and we beat the level i'm like oh well i guess we made it so i think that's maybe our cue yeah that's uh that's my baby crying in there so i can go in there and so then i can cry about whatever she's crying about that's it Cool. Well, thanks for sitting down. Hey, I appreciate well, thanks, it. Thanks, man. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you'll know when new vids get posted. I'd appreciate it if you liked and shared the video, too. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God Gamer Gall for supporting me on Patreon. Hey, I've got a couple of videos here you might be interested in. You can check those out and, well, we can hang out for a bit more here on David and Ark. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.